Almighty Jesus. Ooh, come on in. Come on in. I'm, I'm excited. I am. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good? It is your man, Theo Butler, and welcome to an educational, informative, low-key, petty-ass episode of I Ain't Saying. I'm just saying with a rock with me. Man, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm excited, baby. I'm excited. I, I was a little, I was down, been going through some stuff for the past three, four days, health-wise and everything like that. Listen, stay away from dick milk. <laughs> Anyway, before we get like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. If you want to cuss me out on this video, you know, tell me I might be overcooking the grits a little bit. You can do that as well. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. But y'all don't see the title. I, I, I didn't even know we... Anyway, the Batman, Ryan Kittle, and racism? How we doing it? What? What? <laughs> this is stuff I just don't like to get caught up in. It really, really is. But I'd be like, somebody gonna ask you at some point, Theo. And then sometimes I, I listen to people that they 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 give analysis on stuff. They give their opinions on stuff, but it is it's not a well round. Anyway, listen, y'all know by now. I'm not gonna play the sound bite. Essentially. Ryan Kennel, and I'm not going to say it's racist. I'm not. He noticed that all of the watch this. And this 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 why this is a petty ass episode. And I'm going to say this, not only is this a petty ass episode, but this is an educational episode for black people who don't know when to touch their nose. Like coming out to defend Mr. Kennel, you might be able to defend him not being a being a racist, but you can't defend him not being an ignorant being ignorant because low key you defended him showed just how ignorant you were. They might be <laughs> so Ryan Kittle made a statement. He noticed that all the white characters, except for Alfred and Batman, the primary characters, I'm, I'm assuming were bad except for Alfred and Bruce Wayne. While all the black characters, only three. <laughs> Catwoman, uh, Commissioner Gordon, and the mayor. I got to look at this bat the Batman cast, because this has people. First of all, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't go see the Batman. <laughs> Like y'all be like, can you can you honestly see Batman too many times? Yes. Not only that, you can get tired of the story. I've seen the Riddler too many times and everything. But that's not what this video is about. It's not. It's about Ryan Kennel and his statement. I'm not gonna say Ryan Kennel's statement was racist. I'm gonna say it is ignorant. I think Ryan Kennel's in his 30s or something like that. 35 or something. I, I could be wrong. It's, it's, I tried to find his age um, on social media. Can't find it. At least I could. But when we talk about superhero movies, let's first go back to where the superhero movies originate from. The superhero comic book. Um, shout out to uh, Jeffrey Wright as James Gordon. Because Jeffrey, Mr. Wright, I remember you when you got cast as, you know, you did the thing in Shaft. I didn't see this coming. Much like I didn't see Regina King doing her thing from 227. Why do I say that, though? The comic book movies, the superhero movies, draw their inspiration from the superhero comics. Pause for a second. How many people, was Lucius Fox in the movie? Hold on, because I, I can look this up myself. Because if we cast this movie right, which I'm assuming, and I, and I get it. I get it. But sometimes you got to know some stuff you should speak on and some stuff you shouldn't speak on. Mr. Kennel, if we cast this movie right, because Lucius Fox ain't in the movie, this movie is 100% white. <laughs> See, that, that's the problem right there. 
This rooster, I did say they referred to me as Malcolm X in the movement. <laughs> this rooster is coming home to roost. You now having to pay for that check you wrote years ago when Elizabeth Taylor played Cleopatra. No, y'all don't remember that? Okay, hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> See, this be the thing that I don't want to do right here and people... Anyway, Elizabeth Taylor as Cleopatra. Angela Jolie as Mary Ann Pearl. Gods of Egypt with only one god looking like he could have been from Egypt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't saying I'm just saying I don't, I don't want to keep doing this but can you I, I know Lex Luthor is Lex Luthor is supposed to be a Caucasian dude but what the hell was we doing in Superman <laughs> the adventures of Superman y'all tell me that in the book I'll wait mind you that's that's the cartoonist doing that like I don't I don't know it, it they never corrected that. Like, I, I didn't see Adventures of Superman, the whole Justice League thing, Justice League Unlimited. They never corrected that. They didn't. And I was sitting up and like, did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> Why does Lex Luthor look like this? <laughs> but here we go. Mr. Kennel. Did you have a problem with Gods of Egypt and how that was portrayed? I got questions. Watch this. If we do Spider-Man, any Spider-Man movie, and, and, and they don't cast the brother that worked in the Daily Bugle in the movie or his son as the prowler, ain't no black people in the damn comic. Ain't no damn black. Robbie, that's his name, Robbie. Ain't no black people in the comic and ain't no going to be no black people in the movie. We good with that? I said I was gonna look at this thing because I was like, you know, the sister, she did a phenomenal job because I don't want it to act like. Yeah, Jamie Lawson. Jamie Lawson played Bella Real. And we in our tethers because we like, well, Hollywood trying to be woke. Are they trying to be woke or is this the rooster coming home to roost? <laughs> See, Mr. Kendall, I'm I'm not going to say you were being racist. I'm not. I do think you made an ignorant statement because what you did was you've gotten comfortable to seeing certain things and this looks unfamiliar to you. But let's think about this. Rock with me, nation. Those that's rocking with me on Twitter, rocking with me on Instagram. Yes, I'm suspended off of YouTube. I should be back in the next couple of days. But think about this. Because mind you, I said I'm not a fan of the Black Wally West. But what are we talking about? If we look at comics, I'm not in it. I'm not. And historically speaking, when it comes to our educational system, this is what we've talked about as far as being reasons why our kids don't want to read books that don't apply to them. <laughs> Representation. Do you really, really want representation? Because when they wrote these comics that they're making a lot of money off of now, you weren't represented. They didn't think about you. They're not going to cast you as Clark Kent. They're not going to cast you as Bruce Wayne. They're not going to cast you as Peter Parker. Now watch this. Mr. Kim. Alfred could have been black. Would you have had a problem with that one too? Because historically speaking, I know the role I didn't play over here in America. It's been the helper. Butler, maid, servant, and my last name is Butler. <laughs> See, when it comes to superhero comics, superhero movies, truth be told, when it comes to side characters, you might not like it. But going forward, side characters are up for grabs. Why? Because we're not finna touch the main character. Unless it's T'Challa, then we're just gonna kill his ass off because the main, the actor that portrayed him, we don't know any other way to honor the real person 
So we're going to kill off the fictional character that they played, but not honor the real person. Don't make me do it. I don't. But yeah. Gods of Egypt. And, and I had some sounding pieces that I wanted to say here. And I want to go ahead and get them off my chest. Um, recirculation of wealth in the black community. Um, Gods of Egypt, that movie that I played, that I, that I mentioned, where Chadwick Boseman played Thoth. Well, Brinson Thwaite played the role of Beck. Small, you know, because I, I didn't know who Brinson Thwaite was. But do you know that Brinson Thwaite plays Nightwing on Titans? It's coming up on his fourth season. That money, that movie put money in his pocket that gave him exposure to do some other stuff. We don't really do that in the black community, but we say we want representation. <laughs> you can't want representation then get upset or co-sign with the ignorant person when they notice you got represented at their expense. That's what way too many YouTube YouTubers of color did. We're comic book fans, first and foremost. But we know how this go. So what we did, too many of us, we wanted to go out there and put our arm around Ryan Kelly and say, it's going to be all right. We know you're not a racist. He ignorant, though. You need to educate him. And maybe you need to be educated as well. Because without Ned Lees, and I'm going to say it one more, again, one more time, without Ned Lees and, 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 and Mary Jane, being changed, Spider-Man No Way Home got one black person in, and that black person is a bad guy. Are we fine with that portrayal? Mind you, the black guy, Jamie Foxx, is portraying a white character. Anybody say anything about the white, the black guy portraying the, the bad white guy? Or are we fine with that? Here we go. Aquaman featured two black people in it. They both bad. Everybody else, well, Jason Momoa is Samoan. But <laughs> Did anybody have a problem with that movie? I mean, yeah, Black Manta is a brother, for real. But there's nobody else. Hell, even the brother that's Aqualad wasn't in the damn movie. <laughs> See what we have with this? It's a slippery slope. Sometimes you got to know when to touch your nose, like I did. Today, I had a video that I wanted to drop in regards to Equality amongst the sexes, but today is all about women. So that video ain't appropriate for today. Probably not appropriate for this week. I might just give it some time. <laughs> give it, some time. it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. But Robert Kennel, you ignorant. You find seeing it the way you've been brought up to see it. And I get it. But just think about this for a second. Ryan. If superhero movies went the way the comics went, right. Robert, I wouldn't be in the movie. Are you fine with that? You you and I could chop this thing on up. How you want this to play out? Which role which are you okay with me having? Like I said, it's a slippery slope because based on most comics, people of color aren't in them, which means that comic is 90 to 100 percent white and you want me to pay my money to go see that on the screen that's why they're doing the pay on 